Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen. If you're new, today I'm going to be talking about my recommendations and what is in my cart for the Sephora VIB sale that is starting this Friday on October 27th. I just wanted to give you guys the dates so you kind of are aware of like which days certain events are happening. So starting on Friday, October 27th is the Rouge First Access. Uh, then the VIB starts on October 31st or Halloween. And then the Insider starts on third, October 31st as well. Rouge gets 20%, VIB gets 15% off, and Insider gets 10% off. And then for everyone, I believe it's starting on uh, this Friday, October 27th, all of the Sephora collection is 30% off. And I think you just have to use the code, all caps, time to save. And so since I unfortunately spend so much money at Sephora, I will be putting these things in my cart now in preparation for Friday. So let's get right into it. I am gonna start with, I think I'm gonna go by brand. And this year has been my year of everything Patrick Ta. I am obsessed with his makeup. It's amazing. Uh, so I will just go ahead and get started and I'm just gonna kind of run through all my favorite makeup that I currently use. Uh, and then at the end, I'll kind of get into what's in my cart and what I think I'm gonna buy this week. I will also try to do swatches. Uh, keep in mind, my hand is not fake tanned right now. So <laughs> it's a little dry. There's gonna be multiple skin tones going on here, but I'll try to give you swatches just so you kind of have an idea of like what a lot of these products look like. For like the face stuff, you kind of get an idea. It's on my face, like you have a good idea. But for like blushes, lipsticks and stuff, I'll try to give you some swatches. Right, so starting with Patrick Ta, I'm actually out of the foundation. I think I'm gonna hold off because I have plenty of foundation right now and I'm gonna just wait until I run out to buy more of his foundation. And I did kind of like it for summer when I want like a really light base. His foundation in light three is what I was using over the summer and I was also using it with the dual ended brush and I just would dip this end in. Um, you know, it was so fast and easy to do my foundation with it. And I would do my makeup in like 10 minutes. Like it was so fast. Then I would use this side to do the powder and it was amazing. So the foundation is really, really good, but it's not good if you want like matte, like 24 hour wear. Like it's definitely more of like a dewy, like I would say you can set it and get it to last a long time. But like in the hot, hot summer days here in Barcelona, like if I was sweaty and I actually accidentally touched my face like it would come off. So just be aware of that. But it's amazing and it's super easy and fast to put on. It's very comfortable on the skin. So I love the foundation. I also have two of the bronzer duos. So the first one is, this is She's Sculpted. I'm actually wearing it today because, uh, I don't know, I just felt like it. So uh, it's a bit more of a cool toned like contour color, but I still think it's warm enough to use as a bronzer as well. So I actually find that this is a very versatile shade. So I think that it's still cool enough that you could use it as a contour, but I kind of used it as like a bronzer today slash contour. That's what I do with all of mine. I don't really use two different colors, but I use this for a bit paler days or um, for a bit more like contouring. I also have She's Bronzed. You can tell this one is very loved. I wear this more often when I'm like going out and especially in the summer when I want to be like extra bronzy. Uh, so you can see this one is very loved, but I love both colors. They both are very versatile. And then I'll move on to Patrick Ta Blush. This one is also my favorite. Uh, she's a doll. I obviously have run out of the cream much faster than the powder. So I've been using other cream blushes kind of in the meantime to like save this a bit more but it is gorgeous let me see if i can do a little swatch moment okay so that is she's a doll i'm wearing just the powder of it today back here it looks way more pink on my hand i think when you blend it in with like bronzer and stuff it doesn't look quite so pink and then i just bought she's wanted it's a much deeper berry blush it's gorgeous i think it would look better on a bit darker skin tones than mine, but I've been trying to figure out ways to make it work where it's like less intense, but I think it's so beautiful, like so gorgeous. And it looks like a bit like a suntan, like a little bit sunburned. If you can get it to look a little more like, like sheer over your cheeks and stuff, like it's so pretty. Okay, so here's She's Wanted. Again, it's very pretty, but it's a little dark for my skin tone, but I still love it because I just like love the color so much. So I just need to find more ways to kind of like lighten it up or maybe mix it with another lighter shade to kind of like make it work a bit better, but it's stunning. And this was the very first item I think I ever bought from Patrick Ta and it's this just the regular blush in She's Passionate. So no cream on this one, just powder blush. And I haven't used it for a while, but it was my favorite go-to blush for a really long time. And there is She's Passionate. 
So it's definitely more of like a peach blush. I think it looks more pink when you put it on and mix it with everything again, but it is a really pretty blush, very natural. Yeah, so those are the blushes. I also have the Patrick Ta Wax Styler. Yeah, brow shaping wax, and I'm wearing it now. I, I like it, I don't, I'm a little conflicted on it because it's pretty expensive for like, essentially just brow wax and I don't feel like it slicks them down like so well that I'm like oh my gosh I have to have this so if this was the item that I'd be like eh you could probably get it from another brand but I still do like it I just add a little drop of water get a spoolie mix it together and just put it through my brows I press it like this and then they stay pretty much for the whole day so like wait did I just <laughs> no I'm good so if you want to pick it up I say go ahead, but also like you could probably find other brow waxes and it would be just fine. I also love Patrick Ta's lip liners. I'm out of She's Proud. I've used She's Proud, She's Strong, and She's Bold. I have She's Strong and She's Bold, so I'll swatch those for you guys. Okay, so here is She's Strong, She's Bold. I love both of these. She's Bold is a little bit more of like a dark lip on me. And then She's Strong and She's Proud are more like natural, like I could kind of wear them every day and it would be pretty like close to my lip color. Yeah, so that's what those look like. And I love them and the, the like formula of them is great. It's really comfortable to wear, really easy to reapply and it doesn't get like chalky when you reapply it, you know, where sometimes it's like too dry of a formula and if you reapply it later on top of where you put it before, sometimes it gets chalky. These don't really do that. I I also like the Makeup by Mario lip liners. My, probably like my favorite lip liner this whole year has been Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink. So I left the Patrick Ta ones on so you can see. So again, Patrick Ta, she's strong, she's bold. This is Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink and this is Makeup by Mario in Tan. I also like Makeup by Mario in Toasty, but I don't have that one anymore. So uh, just so you can see the examples, like this is my favorite one by far and I'm actually wearing it right now. So you can see what it looks like on. And I just have the lip liner on with some gloss on top. So that's what that looks like on like an everyday look. And then I guess as long as I'm on the lip liner journey right now, uh, I will compare this last one that I'm gonna recommend. This is uh, Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine. So you can see the difference there. I real These are like all my favorite lip liners. So I wear these all the time and love them. Next, I'll talk about concealer and foundation. So first, since we're where we were just talking about Makeup Forever, I just got this one and I think I like it. I'm not sure if I love the color, but I usually mix it with something else anyways. So I think I would like a color that's slightly less yellow, but it works, it's fine. So this is Makeup Forever HD Concealer in 2.0 R. I did swatch that on the back of my hand. It's this swatch right here. So this is Makeup Forever 2.0 R. Then I also use the Giorgio Armani Concealer, Luminous Silk Concealer in five. So this is a Makeup Forever Concealer. This is Giorgio Armani Concealer. I prefer the Giorgio Armani, but it's like, I wish I could mix these two together and make a color that's like, this one's like a little bit too gray. This is a little too yellow. If like these were mixed together, I think it'd be perfect for me. And then I also use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I typically have been using 5.75, but it's more of like a self tan shade for me. Um, and then I also just bought five not that long ago and I typically mix them together. Five might be a good like non spray tan shade for me, but I've been mixing them together like I did today on my face for more of like a neutral color for me. So just so you can see those swatched as well, this is Giorgio Armani Armani Luminous Silk 5 and this is 5.75. Um, so you can see them alongside the concealers and this is like the most common color combination I'm using on my face. And this is what I use as my base. You've probably seen in previous videos or if you've seen Get It Ready With Me is I'm almost always starting my makeup routine with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in the shade Canel. I've been using this for like eight, no, like five, six years. And it's just a great like full coverage base. If you want like a thicker, drier concealer for doing cover cover up like on your eyes or acne or anything like that, this I feel like is a great option for that. And I put on kind of a lot, so this is a little thick, but just to show you Canel next to all the other swatches, this is like my all time favorite concealer. I used to just wear this as like a foundation and like blend it out. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about Rare Beauty. I have been using the Rare Beauty eyeliner in True Brown. That's what I'm wearing right now. And this has been my go-to eyeliner. I love a brown liner that I can just like blend out a little bit, do a little flick on the wing. And yeah, it's been great. It's very waterproof. It doesn't transfer at all. And it's still easy to like remove. It's not like you're scrubbing your eyes super hard. Uh, and then I also love the Rare Beauty Blush in Happy. I actually have a bit of this on underneath my powder blush today. So these are the swatches. This is the True Brown Eyeliner. This is the Blush in Happy. And then I wanted to compare it to a couple other products as well. So I also love using nude sticks and they're great for like th 
putting in your purse, bringing them on the go, traveling. Um, so this is Nude Sticks in In the Nude, and it's a blush. So this is what the blush looks like, and this is what it looks like swatched on my hand. A bit more peachy color, bronzer color, um, but it's super pretty, especially for like summer. And I also love Bondi Bay, the shade Bondi Bay uh, as a bronzer, but I don't have it right now, so can't swatch it for you, but this is what the In The Nude blush looks like. And then I've been using the Anastasia Brow Pen to kind of add a few little flicks of hairs and color in my brows. So this is what the brow pen looks like. And then I have it in my brows as well. I don't know if you can see, like I just do like little flicks like this to kind of fill in any sparse gaps and to add a little bit of color and I've been really liking it. All right, now I think I'm gonna move on to Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm sure you guys are probably aware of the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Uh, this is in the shade Fair One or One Fair. Uh, I've been using this for like three or four years now and I love it. It's perfect for setting your under eyes and giving like a little bit of coverage because there's like a little bit of tint to the powder. I just use it around my eyes and then I use a translucent powder for the rest of my face. So next I'll touch on Dior. I've really been loving this. I didn't think like that I would use it every day, but I literally use this every day. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in 001 Universal. I use like all of this. Uh, I don't use this one quite as much, but it's a beautiful bronzer topper. I use this every day as a blush topper and then I mix these two together as like an inner corner highlight and I mix these these two together as a nose highlight. So um, I don't know if you can really see it, but like that's what I use every day and I, I love it. I also just bought this Dior Forever Rouge like liquid, liquid lipstick. Like uh, I saw it on TikTok this week and I was like, well, I need to dress up for Halloween this week. <laughs> and uh, I haven't had a red lipstick in a very, very long time because I kind of thought I didn't like it on myself, but I was like, maybe I'll try it again. Maybe I'll like it. I'm going to use MAC Night Moth Lip Liner with it. It apparently turns sparkly when it dries and you like press your lips together. I haven't even swatched it yet. So this is the first swatch and I'll probably wear it and show it on TikTok later this week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so there's the swatch. Really see it up close. And then, I think that'll be nice. Uh, especially with the darker lip liner. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see, I'll let it dry for a few minutes and see if it turns sparkly. So the next recommendation is, this is the other favorite blush I use every day. This is Too Faced Candy Clouds and it's a much lighter pink than She's a Doll from Patrick Ta. So I love, I even like, you could mix this with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury and like dip back and forth between the powders to create like an under eye powder. I also have been placing like She's a Doll back here. And then I put Candy Clouds like right here under my eye and almost use it as like an under eye brightener. And then if I'm really going crazy, I'll mix this with like Charlotte Tilbury or I'll show you another option that I do and make like a custom under eye pink powder to put it like right here. So if I'm really going all out, there'll be like four or five blushes going on sometimes but yeah this is my favorite and I'll swatch it for you just so you can see it is a much like brighter like bubblegum cotton candy pink I hope it's not too washed out by the red lipstick next to it but you can see how bright it is like that's more almost like an under eye brightening blush compared to she's a doll okay so the next one is the Givenchy prism libre blush in mousseline lilas I'm saying that wrong for sure. Um, but this is what it looks like. They have like these little loose powders where there's like four different colors. But when you open it, it's like all in one. So what I've been doing is like taking a little of this, putting it in the cap, mixing some translucent powder in there, mixing it around and making like my own custom under eye color. Or you can just use this as like a loose blush. Um, but I bought it specifically to make my own like custom under eye powders and it's really nice. So you can see, I don't want it to, it might get, blown out by the red. It's even lighter, like it's almost a setting powder on its own, but it's so beautiful again for like this apple of your cheek area. I haven't bought stuff from Tarte in a while, but I did decide to splurge in my last purchase and get the Tartlet tubing mascara. The bottle's a little dirty, honestly, this is like almost out. I should probably get a new one. Yeah, I didn't ever think that I would splurge on expensive mascara. I almost always get like L'Oreal Voluminous, something from the drugstore, um, but I've been obsessed with tubing mascara this summer. It's amazing if you get wet, if you sweat, if it rains, it does not run. It just stays in little tubes and you don't get like a black like crying mess under your eyes. The brush 
is also different than what I'm used to. It's like more rubbery with like small spikes on it. I'm used to like the more fluffy ones, like the L'Oreal Voluminous one, uh, but I like it. And I think it's really more for the formula. I just love the tubing formula and it's so easy to take off, but it like helps keep your lashes curled. Um, and it's just nice if you get wet, it doesn't turn into a mess. So yeah, I am a tubing mascara girly forever. Okay, my camera's almost gonna die. So I'm hoping I can hurry up and finish these last few recommendations. I have been loving for like, oh, like two years now. Uh, the Fenty diamond bomb in how many carrots so I use this as a topper and it's absolutely stunning it's kind of discolored from like my brush dipping back into it it's like a pearly white color and I'll actually put some on so you can see what it looks like um, I'm, when I applied I just use the Sigma high cheekbone highlighter fo3 just drag it like this and I usually apply it like on my cheeks I, don't, I hope you can see this it's I should probably shine a light on me or something um, but it's like such like if you like to look a little glittery, especially if you're going to be out during the daytime, like in the sun or if you're doing flash photography, it's stunning. It's subtle, but it's gorgeous. Oh, you can see it much better on my forehead, I think. I think. I hope you guys can see it, but it's stunning and I love it. And it's just a topper and I put it like everywhere. Like if I'm wearing something that shows my clavicles, I'll put it all over my chest, nose, chin, cheeks, like everywhere that you'd kind of put something a little bit shiny. So yeah, just put it all over. The last two recommendations before I get to what's in my cart for this week is the Givenchy L'Entardi perfume. Perfume? <laughs> it just smells really good. I don't know. It's not my typical perfume, but I really like it. And then I also got the small version of the Versace Dylan Purple, and it is a bit sweeter. I like it though. I don't know. So these are my two new perfumes this year, and I've been really enjoying wearing them. I typically wear like uh, Ariana Grande Cloud, um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So those are like, if you like those scents, I think you might like these. Okay, I let this dry and was like tapping on it. I mean, okay, first of all, it's not, it is, okay, it's a little bit not dry in that one spot, but like, I'm telling you, that was me rubbing extremely hard and it like barely went anywhere. So I did not see any sparkles though. Did I get the wrong one? I will test it on my lips this week and see if it looks any different. Uh, I just wanted a red lip that was not gonna go anywhere as well. Cause like, I don't want messes. I don't want it on my teeth. I don't want it to like disappear and have like butthole lips in the middle. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I just want it to stay. So I'll have to test this again and see what happens. Okay, I'm back after I charged my camera. <laughs> All right, so I actually already Already did an order of a bunch of Merit Beauty products. I got some for me and my mom. I should have waited till the sale, but I kind of forgot the sale was gonna happen. So I have a few things that I already ordered from Merit um, and a few refills. And then I have a few other things that are in my cart for this Friday. So I'll start with the Merit stuff, which I already ordered. I haven't even seen them yet because they're actually in the US because you can't get Merit Beauty here in Spain. So my mom is bringing them to me and then we'll test them out once she's here. Okay, sorry, background on this. I saw one TikTok of some somebody being like, the Merit Beauty stick is so awesome. And I was like, you got me. <laughs> so uh, I got the Merit Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Foundation and Concealer Stick in Dune, Cream, and Bisque. I just felt like I might want two colors to mix and then I tried to get a color that my mom will like. Um, so Dune, Cream, Bisque got those three colors. I also got two blushes, one for me, one for my mom. I'm still not sure which one we want yet. We'll probably swatch them and see which one works better with each of us. Uh, but I got the Flush Balm Cream Blush in Beverly Hills and Cheeky. And then I got the Bronze Balm Sheer Sculpting Bronzer in Quince and the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in Baby and Millennial. Uh, so that was all the Merit Beauty stuff I ordered. And then I also ordered a refill of Patrick Ta Lip Liner and She's Proud because you guys noticed I, I don't have it right now. I ran out. Um, and then what's in my basket? What's in my cart? This Friday, I think I'm going to be ordering another Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink lip liner pencil because that's my favorite and I'm already really short, almost done with the one I currently have. So I just want to have a refill so I don't run out. And then I think I may also get the Makeup by Mario lip liner in Travis, maybe. I, I might remove some of these things, but I think I want that. Uh, also, I was possibly going to try the Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick in the color 265 Hope. Oh, I think I may also get the Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick in Forever Nude Look. And then I'm going to get a refill of the Tartlet Tubing 
mascara. I also really wanted the uh, Patrick Ta eyeshadow toppers, and I saw that he came out with them a few weeks ago, but they were not on the Sephora website for some reason, so I don't know if they're like out of stock and maybe he's working on restocking them. Uh, I don't know, but I was so excited for those to be released, and then I noticed they weren't on the site, so maybe they'll be restocked by Friday? I have no idea, but they look stunning. I love a sparkly topper, like the Fenty Beauty one for the face, or like toppers for the eyes. They're gorgeous. And I don't know if I'll buy this, but I also wanted to recommend the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette that he just came out with that has like all these beautiful matte shades. I'm tempted to buy it, but like I don't wear enough eyeshadow to justify it. But maybe I would if I bought it. I think I'll have to wait. I don't need eyeshadow that badly. I, I'm really not a big eyeshadow girly. So I wanted to try some stuff from One Size Beauty because I've never had anything from there before. And I want to try the One Size Ultimate Blur Setting Powder in Universal Translucent instead of the Laura Mercier powder. I want to switch it up and try this one. And that's really all that's in my cart because unfortunately I just bought all that Merit Beauty stuff that I should have waited for until now. Uh, but I forgot the sale was happening. But I do have some stuff in my loves that I'm considering maybe putting into the cart. Maybe. I've heard really good things about the House Labs Hydrating and Depuffing Concealer. I was thinking of maybe getting that in medium peach. A lot of these things like just might live in my loves for a while unless I'm like really feeling like I want to buy them. I was also maybe going to get the Urban Decay 24-7 Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Glitter Rock. Again, just like an eyeshadow topper. It's really pretty. The Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Blush Duo in She's Blushing, uh, but I felt like it looked pretty similar to She's Passionate, so I was like, okay, let me just put that in my loves and like hold on to it for a bit but that color also looks really stunning and then if you want more like sparkly glittery things I also really love the milk makeup color chalk multi-use powder pigment in skip it so I just like kind of rub it on my finger and again kind of use it as like a blush topper and it's a little bit more pigmented than the Dior fa face palette color on more of the skincare side of things I have used the tower 28 SOS spray and I really like that just hypochlorous acid really good for like body acne spraying on after you work out things like that. Uh, the Youth to the People face wash and the Kaja Gloss Shot in 02 Milk Tea. I use that all the time. That's actually what I have on right now. Oh yeah, for sunscreen, uh, this whole summer I've been using the Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick SPF. That's really good. All right, and I think that is it. So those are my last few quick recommendations there. Yeah, so let me know if you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned. These have been my go-to products for a very long time. Some of them for like five, six, seven years some of them just for this year so far. I have most of them on my face right now, so if you see me do makeup tutorials, you see a lot of these ones that I use. I will also see if I can do a Merit Beauty review once my mom comes and brings me all the products. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.